Here's a famous story about the soldier Nakamura because he was thinking that the war did not end so he lived more than 30 years in the forest here on Morotai. So let's find out about his story. You wanna join me for a ride? <laughs> the museum is open. Yeah? Subtitles. <laughs> we are now at the Tricora Museum. This is a museum uh, from the Second World War. And here's a famous story about the soldier Nakamura because he was thinking that the war did not end. So he lived more than 30 years in the forest here on Morotai. And the museum is about the Second World War. And you need to imagine on Morotai. Um, Morotai was a really important base for the Japanese military because they wanted to control from here um, all the surrounding of the ocean area um, to have more control about the Allied troops and to fight them. And actually in 1944 there was a crazy thing happening here because the Allied troops stormed Morotai Islands and here were uh, actually 500 Japanese soldiers based on Morotai and they have built up everywhere stations to defend the island obviously and also they have tried to build up many, many tents so that the Allied troops would think that there are not only 500 of them, but that there is like an invasion of Japanese soldiers. But actually it was only a fake and the Allied troops didn't believe the fake. So they have stormed um, the island with more than 15,000 soldiers. So you can imagine 500 against 15,000. That's really a number. And in the end, the Allied troops win uh, the war against Japan and in 1944 Japan uh, gave up so and normally the war was finished and now a really crazy story is coming on top of it because it's about the soldier Nakamura. The soldier Nakamura was um, one of the last uh, soldiers here who still was fighting against uh, the Allied troops in this invasion and he had the task of his general to make like a guerrilla uh, um, fighting style against them. So really stay staying in the jungle and come out and kill some people and then go back. Yeah, some guerrilla tactics. And actually, what did happen? In the end, in Morotai, the <laughs> Nakamura soldier was hiding then in the forest and in the end, Japan gave up and said, okay, the war is finished. But Nakamura didn't receive any message of it. So did also the colleagues of him not receive any message. In the end, there were some, it was a smaller group then in the forest hiding from the Allied troops. And a few years later, he, um, he went apart from the other groups, so from the other guerrilla soldiers and he went really deep in the forest of Morotai and unfortunately the other guys were thinking he was dying in the forest but he did not. So what did he do? He was still thinking the war is going on and he was hiding and surviving in the forest and he was building up um, as, uh, in his garden uh, so he made uh, like a garden he built up like a, a, a tent and he still had his weapon with him but he did not want to use it of, of course uh, not also not for hunting animals because he was scared if he makes noises uh, with this loud weapon so he could maybe get catched by the aliens so in the end he only made fire in the night so that the smoke will not um, give a hint to where he is located at and yeah 
lots of years later, um, some Indonesian pilots flo flew over Morotai and seeing an old naked guy in the forest with a tent and he found it really strange. But in, in the end, the Japan people, they already thought that Nakamura is, is dead, so nobody was searching for him. But this Indonesian pilot gave this information uh, further to the Japanese government and then the Japanese government ordered up a search troop to find him. And what did they do? They sent four Indonesian soldiers to the jungle where the pilot has seen him. And this was in 1974. So 30 years later, they searched him. And actually, they went with a Japanese flag to the forest area where they saw him the last time and were singing the Japanese national hymn to get him out of the jungle and actually he really came then out and he was really already starving, he was very thin, um, malnutrition and he has not seen anybody for more than 20 years. He has not talked to anybody since more than 20 years so he couldn't even speak any more Japanese and he couldn't also speak uh, Chinese because he actually he was a Taiwanese uh, soldier um, ordered from the Japanese military and it's insane for more than 20 years he had no contact to people he has not spoken to any people so he was very scared and he directly gave up and then they t talked to him and uh, teach him that the war is over so he went since 30 years in the jungle or in the forest here in Morotai and surviving and in the end in 1979 um, he, he, he died then um, on uh, lung cancer because he was um, also building up uh, tobacco in the forest and of, obviously he was smoking then a lot and then unfortunately he died with the age of I guess 59. And now we will go into the museum. Hmm. Yeah, lots of people using this one here as a smiley and some nicknames, but it's a Japanese symbol. Wow, was this a warship, really? Battleship, Navy ship, USS Missouri. And this is Nakamura. So what you can see here now is the Japanese have built seven lanes on the airport for bringing more stuff to the Morotai Island and more uh, stock. Yeah. Seven lanes. Wow.
lights. Crazy. More time. Together with Ilham, we were searching for a restaurant. We just discovered this newly opened restaurant. Let's give it a try. Finally! Yes. Just as we entered the restaurant, a heavy rain shower started. Vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> you want some rice? <laughs> 